Good morning, folks. Today is Thursday, May 27, 2021, and this is episode 64 of 413 Sports Talk. I am Rahim Escalade. Good Thursday morning, everybody. How are you guys waking up today? Feeling good? You sleep good? Well, thunderstorm last night came and pushed all that uh, humid, hot air out of the way, and we're left with a good Thursday. So, episode 64. Today we're going to get into some NBA playoff action. Um, I have scores and reviews as far as that's concerned. Also, NHL postseason action happened last night. We're going to review that. And um, also, I have scores from Major League Baseball. A couple games were postponed due to the weather on the East Coast. But that doesn't mean that 4 and 3 Sports Talk is postponed. We will be here every single day with an episode for for you um, from the sports world, both um, on a national level and, of course, Western Mass Sports. So, without further ado, let's get into it. First of all, I just I just want everybody to take a look at where I am and just just the beauty the beauty of nature. Filming from, um, I'm in Robinson State Park on the Boy Scout Bridge over uh, the Veronica Brook, to be exact. I want to give some respect out to the people who made this uh, location what it is. Um, so, without further waiting for anything like that, sorry guys. Let's get into this episode, shall we? <laughs> Sitting out here snacking to eat some Doritos. Anyway, let's get into it. So, the NBA playoffs is what we'll start with. <clears throat> Um, we have Philadelphia 76ers, Philadelphia 76ers over the Washington Wizards, 120 to 95. Um, I, what, I kind of knew that this was going to happen. I knew that, um, once, once, uh, Ben Simmons or somebody, somebody who could actually play some good defense was able to, um, match up and take over Westbrook. Um, I kind of knew that this was going to happen. Um, and this is going to be the same, the same result going into the next game as well with the uh, Washington Wizards. You know, Bradley Beal's going to score a sheer crap ton of points, and um, Russ is going to have basic pedestrian like numbers. Um, so Joel Joel Embiid had twenty two points, seven boards, five assists, and Ben Simmons had pretty much a, a the same game: twenty two points, nine boards, eight assists, um, all the while locking down. Wow, angle switched. Sorry, all the while locking down Russell Westbrook and um, playing good defense like I know that franchise was going to um, coming into the postseason. Um, there's another surprise. In New York Knicks 101, Atlanta Hawks 92. Wow, I had money on the Hawks last night. I saw how that happened. But that was about the only thing I got wrong. Um and John, Matt, if you're listening and watching, which I know you are, uh, I got you. Boston covered. Washington covered. Miami covered. I know you like that. I know you like that. I know you like it. You like it. You like it. Um. Anyway, so yeah, um, Julius Randle for the next 15 points, 12 boards, 4 assists. Uh, Bullock with 15 points, and R.J. Barrett scored 13. Uh, Knicks win, 101-92. And then finally in the nightcap, we have the Utah Jazz over the Memphis Grizzlies. Um, only thing I can say about this game, though Utah won, <laughs> Ja Morant. <laughs> ja Morant had a career night, 47 points, 4 boards, 7 assists. 
His buddy Brooks had 23 and six boards and four assists as well. But that wasn't enough to stop, stop the Utah Jazz. Um, they're such a good defensive team. And they got guys that can score like um, Donovan Mitchell, uh, Rudy Gobert. He's not really a scorer, but he's their center. He's the big man. Um, Black City, when you come down there. Um, uh, he's the starter of COVID, too, by the way, in the NBA. Anyway, um, so, yes, big win for the Utah Jazz. And um, Michael Conley also put in 20 points, um, uh, three or five of shooting from behind the arc. So there we have our NBA playoff action scores and review. Men's NCAA basketball played last night. Uh, Texas Tech. Um, I'm sorry, it wasn't basketball, baseball. Um, Texas Tech 11, Baylor 4, Vanderbilt 5, Mississippi 4. In 11 innings, Alabama was able to beat Tennessee by a score of 3-2. Arkansas scored 11, University of Georgia 2. And finally, we have West Virginia 5 over Texas 1. And that is NCAA baseball on this fine May day. Um, moving on to the NHL playoffs, we have Minnesota beating Vegas again. Oh, this is another one where I went wrong. I had Vegas in the over. Vegas didn't even score any points. <laughs> three zip. Uh, Minnesota beats them. The series is tied 3-3. Three, three. Uh, game 7 uh, coming up tomorrow. Um, not sure how I feel about that. I don't think we'll be, uh, we'll be playing with those Vegas um, Golden Knights again. Um, New York Islanders beat Pittsburgh 5-3. to three. New York wins that series 4-2. to two. And finally, Tampa Bay beats Florida and wins their series by four games to two as well. And that's the NHL playoffs. Uh, the WNBA, we, uh, the score I have is Las Vegas 85, Phoenix 79. Um, and getting into baseball, Toronto and the Yankees are postponed. Colorado and the Mets were postponed due to inclement weather. Angels beat, beat the Texas Rangers 9-8. Oakland over Seattle 6-3. St. Louis Cardinals beat the Chicago White Sox 4-zip. Minnesota Twins beat the Baltimore Orioles 3-2. Miami Marlins over Philadelphia 6-2. Miami, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Um, Washington 3, Cincinnati 0. Another winner. They shut out Cincinnati. Washington in the over. Cha-ching. And the other game I went on, uh, the Boston Red Sox 9, Atlanta Braves 5, winner, winner. And that's my team, so boom, that's two victories. Detroit 1, Cleveland nothing. In 10 innings, Tampa Bay was able to beat the Kansas City Royals by a score of 2-1. to one. Houston 5, Los Angeles Dodgers 2. In 10 innings, the San Diego Padres beat the Milwaukee Brewers 2-1. to one. And finally, San Francisco Giants over the Arizona Diamondbacks by a score of 5 to that's your baseball, everybody. Now, my favorite part of the show, Western Mass Sports. Starting with the boys today. In baseball, Minichog over Long Meadow, 2-1. to one. Brendan Guy, the baseball guy, ends up winning. Oh. You're good. Oh, how's it going? I didn't want to scare you. I can get by. You good? Yes. Right. Have a good day, buddy. You too, man. It's awesome. See somebody else on the trail, huh? Let's get back into it. We'll start over. What? Not at all. Not at all. This is, a, this is a place for all of us to enjoy. Podcasters, bikers. <sighs> Western Massachusetts sports. In boys baseball, we have Minichov beating Long Meadow 2-1. to one. Central Golden Eagles again. My guy, Brendan Guy, um, had a hand in that victory as they beat Agawam 11-5. West Springfield opens up a can on Northampton, 16 to 1. Um, Southwick beats St. Mary's by a score of 10 to 2. And Pioneer Valley getting in the win column finally in that baseball side, beating Mohawk Trail by a score of 10 to 6. In tennis, Chickabee Comp beat Pope Francis 4 to 1. Lee beats Pittsfield 4 to zip. And Ludlow beats Agawam 3 to 2. That game was a little more competitive. Would have loved to see it. I like tennis a lot. In volleyball, Central Golden Eagles beat Ice Long Meadow, 3-zip. Sabbath over Commerce, 3-zip. Putnam over Athol, 3-zip. Sorry, Athol. Uh, Holyoke over Ware, 3-1. And West Springfield beats Long Meadow by a score of 3-zip. In wrestling, Mayhar beats Franklin Tech by a score of 36-12. to 
And finally, for the girls of in, uh, the girls side in uh, Western Mass Sports, here we go. Minnetonk over Westfield by a score of five zip. West Springfield beats the Central Golden Eagles by a score of three to two. Sabas over Palmer three two, and Ludlow beats South Hadley five zip. Uh, moving on to lacrosse, Belchertown over St. Mary's by a score of 19 to 7. And this concludes episode 64 of 413 Sports Talk. I'm your host, Raheem Escalai. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. We are on YouTube as well, trying to build that, so help us out. Um, if there's anything I got wrong, please leave it in the comment section or send me a message and I will get back to you. And we will adjust the fact that you have an issue with and we will get the right fact up. Um, today is going to be a great day. I'm going to enjoy myself in the wilderness. I'm going to keep on following this trail down. Um, it is a little after 9.30. It's 9.35 in the morning. I'm going to enjoy myself. Um, you guys have a great day. Thank you for your continued support of 413 Sports Talk. We are nothing without the fans, without the input, um, and without some, without the, some of the greatest student athletes uh, the world has ever seen. Up here, no matter what the sport is, these are the best student athletes, and they are located up north in the 413, in the whole state of Massachusetts. They're there. And we're again, what we're going to do with this podcast is put light on all of them, put light on their coaches, put light in their schools, put light on their talents and their highlights so, so they can start getting some D1 attention. My name is Raheem Escalai, and I hope you guys have the greatest day possible don't forget to check us out tomorrow to episode 65. That will come to you bright and early from a secret location in downtown Springfield, Massachusetts. I love all you guys and wish you all nothing but the best in wealth and success. Have a great day.